All right, uh, week six, day two. So had my five minute dynamic warm up. Then I went on to my workout. So that was my dumbbell Bulgarian split stance squats with a reset at each rep for two sets of six, cable sissy squats for two sets of eight, dumbbell press for two sets of eight, incline fly for two sets of eight, two arm dumbbell row for two sets of eight, single arm downward cable rows for two sets of eight each arm, dumbbell upright rows for two sets of eight, uh, standing cable rear flies for two sets of eight, alternating dumbbell hammer curls for two sets of eight each arm, dumbbell drag curls for two sets of eight, alternating tricep uh, press for two sets of eight each arm, and then rope press downs. And then today I wanted to kind of relate a uh, fix equation in, since we're still going over like our, our respiratory fizz. Um, so fix equation is, I wrote it down here so you can kind of, so we can kind of see it a little bit better, but it's the VO2 equals Q times A minus VO2. So the VO2 is the volume of oxygen consumed and utilized. The Q is the cardiac output or the left ventricle. Um, and then the A will be the arterial concentration of oxygen. The VO2 within the parentheses here is going to be the venous concentration of oxygen. Um, the A minus VO2 is going to be the utilization of oxygen. And then the delivery and consumption of oxygen is going to be the cardiac output and the arterial concentration of um, oxygen. So basically kind of what this is saying in relation to like exercise is that um, in terms of like cardiac output or um, like the difference in arterial and venous concentration of oxygen, um, if either of those kind of change or go up, like a cardiac output increases um, in respiration and that gas exchange kind of goes up Therefore, the uh, utilization of oxygen is going to increase, and that will also increase the difference between your arterial concentration of oxygen, which is going to be higher because you're breathing in more, you're getting more oxygen onto your hemoglobin, into your blood, um, and then the concentration of oxygen in your veins is going to be dramatically decreased because you're utilizing so much oxygen while you're exercising. Um, so all that oxygen is going to kind of get taken off of the heme, get used in the muscle and then it's going to take in all that co2 from the byproduct from all of that uh um, energy so all of our at production and all of the different things that'll kind of make co2 um, within the muscle